And, and in, that, uh, in that goal, you are, uh, you are aligned with John Stuart Mill. Absolutely. Not bad company, and I want to show you what I've taken out of your book. You've quoted Mill in Good, I'm glad to see you've read to page I've three. I've tried my... Uh, two. <laughs> two. Page two, Doc. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> he's tough. This is a long hour, I'll tell you. Um, okay, here it is, John Stuart. The sole end for which mankind are warranted. This looks grammatically incorrect, but stay with us. Individually or collectively, in interfering with the liberty of action of any of their number, is self protection. The only purpose for which power can be rightfully exercised over any member of a civilized community against his will is to prevent harm to others. Uh, and then, oh, okay. The only part of the conduct of anyone, or, I'm sorry, his own good, either physical or moral, is not a sufficient warrant. In other words, l let's understand that. For my own good, for my own good, the government cannot pass what would, what would be called uh, forcible action. In other words, in other words here's the a, here's a way, I can... A, youth, a person ought to be able to kill themselves. If yeah. they want. The right to commit suicide is a natural human right. It's your, it's your life. It's your life. Now, uh, and you I, don't want the government to spend any money to prevent you from doing that. Absolutely not. Now, I am in fa obviously, I as a friend of yours will try to prevent you. If you were a friend of mine and you suddenly got to a bridge and were going to jump over, I would certainly rush over and grab you and pull you up. But you don't want public and money I to would, keep me from doing it. Well, I would go farther. No, no, I want to go farther on a personal basis. I would reason with you, I would argue with you, but let's suppose after I had reasoned with you, after I had argued with you, I had failed to persuade you. Do I have the right to use force to prevent you from disposing of your own life? The I clearest case do. of that, I, I do. certainly do not. I certainly do not. And uh, you do not. Hmm. And certainly, you do not have the right to put your hands in the pockets of other people in order to prevent somebody from doing something in his own value system. Now, you know, it's an interesting thing. Every time you bring up issues like this, people don't recognize what's been happening. Where is the rate of suicide highest? Is it in the countries that are free enterprise countries or is it in socialist countries? Sweden has the highest rate of suicide of any of the Western countries. The last time I looked at the figures, maybe they've changed. Why? In, I don't mean why, but it, it's an interesting thing, interesting observation, well, that Sweden is one of the most government-controlled, government, -controlled, government uh, 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 socialist countries in the world. Yeah, but, but that hasn't prevented people from committing suicide. Yeah, but but the problem but look, with take your, the simpler cases. Don't think the, unless this point has to be made. The problem with your point is that that this is hardly any more the best representative example of what the free enterprise system ought to be. So you yourself are America's severest critic. You think we've blown Adam Smith's theory here in America. So we should have people jumping off bridges left and right here. Not we because do. it's a bad... Huh? We do. Well, we but, do. Look at the number of people... that the point you just made. No, no, it doesn't because we have become so socialist. Look at the per extent to which people oh, are, I see. I see. are opting right. out of the world by going it. in for drugs, by going in for various other activities of this kind, which are a delayed form of committing suicide. Yes. One of the problems of our society is that by having all responsibility assigned to the government, we have removed the pressure on individuals to be responsible for themselves, to feel that they have a set of values that they are entitled to pursue. So that, no, no, I don't believe there is...